Record high backed Bitcoin delivery exposes institutional frenzy for Bitcoin. And we know this is happening, but there's a little wrinkle to this, a little caveat that uh, even I was wrong about. Uh, and I was I had to actually correct myself. So this is what's happening. Data from Arcane Research shows backed Bitcoin exchange. So another record high month from September 20th to October 20th. I think that's odd because it's October 17th. I don't know if this is written in the future and I'm a time traveler. I'm not for sure. But I'm guessing they're just kind of lumping this all together. Anyhow, this follows a noticeable rise in institutional demand for Bitcoin from public companies in recent months. And we can see from here's October 2019, here's October 2020. That's pretty massive. Of course, you have to remember that back was started somewhere around here. So then we have this, uh, you know, big jump up here. It looks about the normal, right? March 2020. Wow, look at March. That was a bad month. But uh, of course, April, it's, it slumped down. But look, this is where we're at right now. I will take this W. So Backed, the digital asset payment platform and derivatives exchange, is tailored for institutional investors in the U.S. It is operated by the ICE or Intercontinental Exchange, the parent company of the New York Stock Exchange. I have to tell you, I got to tell you, when when Backed came out, it was the biggest thing ever because we're like, this is fantastic. It's going to be physically settled Bitcoin futures, institutional investors are going to come in and just crush it. And it started off like nothing. It was like such a dud. But just like all businesses, or sometimes businesses, they just take a little bit of time to actually get moving. Anyhow, it states, according to the analysts at Arcane Research, 400 Bitcoin contracts are set to expire in October at backed. Month over month, the data shows a 14% jump from September. So that's huge. I mean, if we can go, if we keep doing that, we're going to be in the massive money. And finishing up atop the high trading activity on backed, LMAX Digital and CME are also continuously posting large demand. So here's my final thoughts. Um, this is always good. It's it's always good when we start to hear, well, not always good, but it's it's great news when we see that more people, even those institutional investors, getting into Bitcoin and digital assets. That's always great. And, uh, you know, Michael Saylor, CEO of MicroStrategy and Jack Dorsey from Twitter and Square, they're the ones that really kicked it all off. No one wants to be first, but nobody wants to be last. And once you get those first people rolled in the door, it starts to have that snowball effect. And I'm waiting for that. But when I'm reading this article, I'm like, yeah, this is cool and everything. But I mean, backed isn't physically uh, settled Bitcoin. Uh, however, I am wrong. So this is uh, in May 2020. It says back physical Bitcoin futures beat cash ahead of major CME expiry. So according to analytics resources skew, uh, latest data for which uh, data is available in May, produced 34 million for backs physically settled Bitcoin futures. Cash settled Bitcoin futures was 9.3 million. And uh, meanwhile, daily record for physically settled futures at backed at 43 million. So I remember hearing about backed. I remember hearing it was supposed to be physically settled. Then they went to fiat and something must have changed because now it's all physically or mostly physically settled uh, Bitcoin, which I think is good for us. We don't really want to have this, you know, paper tiger out there that is just, you know, paper money or paper Bitcoin. We want the actual real thing because as people are snatching that up, hopefully it will increase demand. So again, institutionals are here. Institution investors are here. Things are moving fast. But there was something interesting I learned a couple days ago. Actually, I learned this a couple weeks ago. And I talked about this. I did do uh, a quick video yesterday, but I put it on uh, Digital Asset News Clips. And it just talks about why institutional investors um, have a massive advantage over you. <laughs> that's, really, that's really what it is. And it's uh, really about data and how they process that, how they get it, and how they're crushing everything and um, how they're ahead of the game. So uh, check that out if you got time. Uh, it's interesting. It's uh, kind of depressing at first, but there's options out there. So that is it for today. So I want to say thanks for sticking with me to the very end. I really appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, there's going to be two more on your left and right. Uh, I'm going to probably put one up there, and then YouTube does the other one. And uh, so check those out when you got time. Other than that, thanks for sticking with me. I super appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one.